You up for helping out a fellow adventurer? Look at you! I can tell by the look of you you're traveling around, meeting people, seeing new places. That's the life I'm going back to. This plantation is doomed and my days here are done. It's just been bad luck and lately, pure madness. Last week, the Iron Hand ogres attacked. They broke the levee, pillaged the place. The orcs drove them back, but that was just the beginning. Now bandits are looting everything we have left. That's the thing. It was my adventuring band that founded this plantation. The mage Drodara put up the gold, but we all decided to retire here. Bad idea. I just want to leave now, but the bandits are holding my companions. They need help. What a relief. I wouldn't have been comfortable just abandoning my companions, but if you're going to help them, that frees me up. And let me tell you, it feels good. I'm just not the settling down type. I know that now. Nah, they might want to stay, but I just can't deal with all that. We made a good go of it here, but I need to move on now. Spend some time alone. It's a shame, because we made quite the team back in our younger days. There's me, Jan, the thief. Then there's Drodara, our magic user, the brains of the team. The brawn came from our fighter, Narstig. And then there was our cleric, Murkwatcher. She's really a shaman, but we called her cleric back then. I guess our team does sound a bit quaint these days, doesn't it? Drodara first suggested we retire about 20 years ago, but it was 10 years later before we actually settled down here. Technically, yes. He originally put up all the gold to build the place out and hire the workers. Drodara gave the rest of us a 20% share each. It's all pretty much worthless now. Well, they either drowned when the ogres broke the levees, or they fled, or the bandits have probably killed them now. I didn't see anyone left when I was sneaking away, except my companions, and the bandits have them tied up. The Iron Hand ogres were making a drive to attack Wayrest. We fell in their path. They ate all our livestock and broke the levees. Then General Godron and his orcs drove the ogres back, but these looting bandits came in right after. They're just a ragged group of looters and scavengers, as far as I can tell, though I guess they're a little more organized than I would have expected. Drodara or one of my other companions may know more. Quite well. Thank you for freeing me, friend. You should drink to something. <laughs> Thanks to you, young one. I will find my own escape now.
circle around! This one thanks you, stranger. Please, come to meet in the storehouse. Rodara's companions, friends, Panji bandits would have tied them up like this one. You found them, you freed them, yes? Oh, this is good. Relieves Rodara greatly. Many years we traveled together and many years we worked to make this plantation profitable. Rodara can abandon plantation. Good friends, he cannot. So, our sweet Breton sister has departed. So considerate. Bah. Jan always planned to return to the road. This one is not surprised she left. Wish her well. Perhaps this is the way for Drodara also. Why, is this not what Drodara retired for? Ogres, floods... Crocodiles and bandits? So fun. Would you stay? Probably not. Drodara thinks maybe adventuring life is easier after all. Might need help convincing his other friends to leave, though. Ah, this one would be most grateful. After so many years, Drodara just doesn't have the heart to break everyone's dreams. You could talk to Narstig? He'll have better listening if it comes from you anyways. It was a boon from Banda that you happened along. Was it Jan who asked you to help Drodara and the others? She has shared those feelings many times over the years. After the events of the last few days, Drodara thinks she might be right. Perhaps retirement is just a bad idea. Yes, this one was a member of the Major's Guild in good standing for many years. I was tired of casting spells, though. Drodara wanted to settle down and rest. But maybe that just wasn't the fate Riddlefar has seen for him. Of course, Jan will always be a good friend. Still has wildness in her blood, though. Drodara understands that she needs to roam some. Perhaps she will join us when her legs grow weary. Rodara is old, and working a farm is hard, especially if starting over. Like Jan, Rodara also misses life of adventure. If you can convince Narstig and Merkwatcher to leave, this is what Rodara would prefer. Ah, the young adventurer again. You remind me of the old days. So many stories I could tell. But you'll want to be leaving, of course. Well, we might be heading out too. Jan might be right about a curse here. Speaking of Jan, have you seen her? He does? Imagine that. I was trying to think of how to convince him. That settles it then. If we're hitting the road, though, I'll need my old gear. Recovering it will be easier said than done. There is. If I had my armor, my helm, and my axe, 
I'd do it myself. But that's the thing. When we retired here, I buried all my adventuring gear out by the levee. Would you be willing to go out and get it for me? More I think about it, more I wonder why we stayed here this long. A true Nord dies with his axe in hand, not a pitchfork. Besides, this is more swamp now than farm. I spent years building that levee. Damn ogres! I suppose they were thinking just to leave destruction in their wake. Even if they had sacked Wayrest, it's not like they planned to settle in these parts. Morrowind, I summon the Lich Gagnarathel. Now there's a sight for some sore old eyes. Oh, I missed this stuff. You've done me a great favor by getting it back. Probably doesn't look like much to you. But this helm and armor withstood the blows of the orc warlord Noctul, a Nord killer at Farun. This axe lopped off that monster's misshapen head. I'll drink to those days, and more of them to come. Watcher has aged much in these last few years. She often seems confused about where she is. She can be incredibly stubborn, too. Perhaps you could approach her about leaving. Many drowned when the levees were broken. Others were eaten by the crocodiles. It's not the beast's fault, though. It is their nature to hunt. Their spirits sing a song my heart hears. It is the song of the crocodile. I know. It is natural for them to now return to a life of adventure. But not so for me. 
I must follow another path. All my life, I have harbored a secret. It drove me to leave home and seek adventure, but now I must face my inner truth. That I am not an Argonian. I am a crocodile. This lifetime, I have borrowed the form of another, but my true form is calling me home. I must return to the river. No, I am not. I never have. My entire life, I have felt like a crocodile out of water. Literally. I am old now, and this body is dying. If I become a crocodile, I can start anew. Live the life I was meant to live. There is a way. An incantation. The crocodile song. I was never taught it, but I have known it my whole life. One song must end for another to begin. There is an old crocodile here, Ripple Strike. With his heart, I can sing the song. Thank you. The river has truly guided you here for this purpose. Take this charm. Place it near Ripple Strike's nest. He will not be able to resist the call. He will come out, and then you can kill him. Ripple Strike no longer sings. Have you taken his heart? Hurry, we must move quickly if we are to renew the song. Here then, I will begin the incantation. I would ask you to help me in this one last thing before I return to the river. Join me in vengeance. These bandits have destroyed what's left of my home. I would begin my next life by avenging my previous one, but I will need you to guide me. I wish to kill their leader. When I become a crocodile, I will forget this life. If I fight beside you, I can keep my focus, at least for a little while. I have made the preparations. Eating the heart is the last step. Fight with me before I am gone forever. Are you ready? Though my mind may not recall the favor you have done for me, my spirit will, and the river. The river never forgets. This charm will keep me close. If we are parted, use it, and I will come. When our task is done, tell Drodara of my fate. Ever since you freed us, Merc Watcher has been sitting out there just staring at those crocodiles. It's strange. They've been leaving her alone. Maybe she's worked some of her old charms on them.
on the side! Narstig told me what you have done for Murkwatcher. Though this seemed dangerously unnatural to Drodara, there is no point in questioning it now. Though Drodara is sad to see Murkwatcher leave us, he is happy to know this evil man is dead. Perhaps someday this plantation may flourish again. Not by Drodara's hand, though. Narstig and I are leaving. Goodbye, and thank you. <laughs>